Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I want to talk to you a little bit about hard drives and today we're not at my playhouse we are in my badly lit creepy basement so um, but hard drives I just bought a new hard drive it's actually over here in the Synology 18 15 plus and it's um, doing its stuff I took out this two terabyte Hitachi drive which is a really good high-end enterprise drive and I put in a eight terabyte a Seagate archive drive the, the cheapest eight gigabyte drive I could find that's why I want to talk about hard drives when do you need to buy the expensive hard drives and when do you need your solid state drives and <gasps> Where do you get the best deal? Where do you get the most out of your money, right? Let's have a chat about that. But first, I really want to show you this, this Synology box that I have. Um, right now, I put in this 7.28 terabytes. It's really an eight terabyte, but you know, they kind of eat a little bit every time. And I wasn't expecting this uh, to give me any additional space on on the Synology box because it kind of uses the biggest disk as security but when I went in to put this in and said that it could repair it actually told me that um, then I would be getting 23 terabytes which is um, 23 point something terabytes which is a couple of terabytes better than what I have now right now I have 22 terabytes available with the SHR security one disk fault tolerance but apparently even though it's only one disk that I'm putting in I'm still getting about two terabyte more of storage space I wasn't expecting that so that's really cool and awesome actually so here is some hard drives right over here we have a Seagate and it's a 750 gigabytes and this comes out of an uh, Dell Ecologic, the one I have at my playhouse and it's probably pretty high-end hard drive it has cost a good amount of money sometimes back this one comes out of an EMC storage box so it's probably also good quality high-end hard drive and this one is some cheap Western Digital that I bought way back I didn't pay much for that that's for sure I'm too cheap to uh, pay very much for that these two I've, I've just gotten those because they were well the storage boxes was getting out of service and stuff like that so I could just have a lot of discs so I got those so I didn't pay anything for them and I would never go out and pay this amount of money for a hard drive uh, these are the hard drives that you look on on the internet and you don't get because they're too expensive you would go and recommend the Western Digital Red series or Purple series or something series but these would probably be the ones that no they're not they're not worth that amount of money to get those that's exactly the way I look at it I had the box up here my Synology box and well it's kind of an archive that's why I'm perfectly fine with getting an archive drive for it because I yes I need some speed but I don't need much speed just need a little bit of speed and the archive drive can do like 190 megabytes per second and way more than I need for my film collection and what else I have there I would never go out and buy expensive drives like this I have had this one running up there uh, before I exchanged Synology boxes this one was running and it was running for years it might have been running for four years at some point I wanted to upgrade from two terabyte drives which I actually had I had four of these green Western Digital running in there without a glitch no problems whatsoever they ran for four years maybe only three but I have to make sound good right and I wanted to upgrade and I, I kind of upgraded to half of it I upgraded to three terabytes and then I found out that I wanted four terabytes instead so instead of keeping putting in three terabytes 
I put in some four terabytes and we can actually see it up here on the screen. Some of the discs are still in there. I have one of the three terabytes, it's right. Oh, I have both the three terabytes right there. And I have the four terabytes that I ended up with. I actually have an extra, but that was because I ran out of space. So I have hard drives that are four terabytes. That one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And being as cheap as I am, I found the absolute cheapest way to get four terabyte hard drives. And I wanna show you that. I bought some of these. These were Western Digital external hard drives um, compatible with Windows 8. Amazing, right? Um, and what I actually did was, oh, it's full of pieces. I got these and I just took them apart and took out the hard drive and put those in my NAS box. And well, might not be the best thing, but well, they ran for at least three years, I'm sure. When did I get this? Oh, is there a date somewhere? There could be nothing. Well, there's two years warranty. Okay, I haven't, haven't got a clue when I bought this, but they, they ran for at least three years before I decided that I needed more space. And actually when I decided I needed more space, I bought an extra one that was external. And that's why I have five drives in there now, because I bought an extra one to have external. And when I got this new Synology box, I actually took the last one out of the box and put it in the Synology box. That was actually the first hard drive to go into the Synology box. So I'm pretty sure that that is this one, number one. That's how um, how that worked, actually. The problem with hard drives is that, you know, in three or four years, if it was a good hard drive. The Western Digital Green Line here, a lot of people don't like these because they have been failing, but I ran them for four years and I didn't have any issues. So for me, I wouldn't exactly recommend it. There's too many people saying otherwise, but well, I didn't have an issue. This one is still kind of good. Do I have a Western Digital? No, I don't have a Western Digital running. I have one at my playhouse. I have a three terabyte Western Digital green line running in my Synology box at my playhouse. And that is working out fine. This one, I can't remember how it's doing, but well, um, with all the people saying that these are bad, I'm not gonna be putting it into anything serious production just because too many people are saying they are bad. Even though I haven't had any of the four that I was running go bad on me. But this was a really neat trick actually because I got the external box and I got the hard drive and I saved a couple of hundred Danish crowns. That, what is that? That's, that's about $30. Uh, saved by just taking out the hard drive. It might be that the hard drive inside of here, they don't have a lot of cache memory and stuff, but they work fine. They're still working fine. Though those are the four terabyte drives that I'm actually running most of my NAS box with still. If you don't need maximum performance, and when do you really need maximum performance? You need kind of only needs maximum performance when you're copying huge amount of data and you want that to go as fast as possible. If time is not that important, you can go with cheaper stuff and um, just remember to have a bit of security and be ready to go out and buy a new drive if something fails. You don't want no security running on your NAS box, but well, that's about my little hot dry rant for now. So um, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And I just want to end this video with a little bit. I have a new stuff. Uh, can we see this? Yeah, I have a dead cat on my camera right there. I just got that. If you um, have subscribed to my Google Plus, well, you would know that because I posted that last week. So um, go subscribe to my Google Plus and have a nice day. Bye bye.